Mr. Eclipse, also known as Fred Espinak, is a retired NASA astrophysicist. He'll be on the VU campus this week giving a quick course on what to expect for the upcoming total eclipse on April 8th. With this eclipse quickly approaching, Espinac's presentation should be a good start in preparing for what is being coined as a spectacular astronomical event. Mr. Eclipse will tell you his passion for this solar phenomenon started at NASA. While I was working at Goddard, uh, I did a number of things, but one of them was was to be sort of the, the NASA eclipse guy who did uh, a lot of predictions for them and published a, a lot of uh, articles and books on eclipses. And I've continued to do that work um, in retirement. Do you know the difference between a partial and a total eclipse? So partial eclipses, these are when part of the sun is covered by the moon. It looks like a, a the cookie monster is taking a bite out of the sun. And these are fairly common. Uh, most people have seen a partial eclipse at one point or another. They might You might see one every five or 10 years approximately. But what is really unusual is a total eclipse of the sun. That's when the moon completely blocks the sun's disk. And then we're plunged into the shadow of the moon. And the most interesting thing about that, at least to me, is when the sun's disk is completely blocked, you're plunged into a very strange, eerie twilight. It's not as dark as night. It's about as dark as the sky gets, perhaps uh, 45 minutes after sunset. It's dark enough to pick out a couple of bright planets and maybe a few bright stars, but you're plunged into this twilight in a matter of seconds. So you go from bright daylight to twilight. It's very sudden, um, and uh, uh, it makes the hair on the back of your neck stand up. Did you know that during a certain time of this memorable experience, you can actually take your protective sunglasses off? These are used for the partial phases of the eclipse. When the eclipse becomes total and you're plunged into this twilight for the four minutes and five seconds, you take the, the glasses off because through the glasses, it just goes black. You don't see anything at all through the glasses. It's totally safe to look at the sun when it's in total eclipse without any eye protection whatsoever. Espinac stresses that we should consider ourselves lucky here in Vincennes. So for Vincennes, uh, you'll have four minutes and five seconds at totality. So that's close to the maximum. And here's a fun fact from Mr. Eclipse and something that he's most excited about for this upcoming eclipse. And when the sun has a lot of activity on it, like it has in 2023 and 2024, the corona is extra bright. It's got a lot of structure and detail in it that it might not normally have during the quiescent phases of the solar cycle that happened maybe six years ago. So it's a more active and interesting corona with a lot of detailed uh, structures in it that are in interesting to look at. You'll have the chance to take in his knowledge and expertise this Thursday, February 8th at 11 a.m. and 6.30 p.m. It's happening at the Red Skelton Performing Arts Center on the VU campus. We'll also be live streaming the 11 a.m. event on the Vincent's PBS YouTube channel. If you aren't already excited about witnessing this once-in-a-lifetime event, Maybe Mr. Eclipse can convince you otherwise with his passion and all-around knowledge. And of course, I may be somewhat biased in the subject, but I think that seeing a total solar eclipse is something that should be on everybody's bucket list. It is, I think, un unquestionably the most spectacular astronomical event you can see with the naked eye, bar none. It's something that the people will be telling their grandchildren about the time they saw the total eclipse on April 8th, 2024. Bervin sends PBS. I'm Nicole Cardano-Hillary.